All right, in this video, we're going to talk about trig substitution. And this is really nothing more than a fancy change of variables technique. It's really just a fancy version of U substitution, if you really think about it. It's used in special case of radicals. So if your integrand has a radical like the square root of a squared minus x squared, square root of a squared plus x squared, or the square root of x squared minus a squared, you can use trig substitution. In this uh, video, we're going to talk about this first case, the square root of a squared minus x squared. In that case, your change of variable is going to be x equals a sine t. And what you're going to do is transform the integral or rewrite it in terms of the new variable. So we're going to need the derivative or the differential, which is dx is going to be a cosine t dt. So you transform it to these variables, compute your integral, and then invert. Now to invert, we're just going to rewrite the variables in terms of x. So if we have x equals a sine t, that means that sine of t is just x over a. To figure out what cosine of t is, all we're going to do is take cosine t is the square root of 1 minus sine squared t. And using sine t as x over a, that's the square root of 1 minus x squared over a squared. Now you can pull the a out. So when you do that, you're going to find that cosine of t is the square root of a squared minus x squared over a. We're also going to need the tangent. Tangent of t equals sine t over cosine t and of course that just turns out to be x divided by the square root of a squared minus x squared. So this is all you need to know to do the integral involving this form is sine of t is x over a cosine of t is square root of a squared minus x squared over a and tangent t is x over square root a squared minus x squared. So let's go ahead and do an example. Let's go ahead and find the integral of dx divided by x squared square root of 9 minus x squared. Now the first thing to notice about this is we can't do u substitution because if you took u equal to 9 minus x squared, du would be minus 2x dx. But we don't have that anywhere in here. So that won't work. So we're going to go ahead and use trig substitution. So a is 3, and x is 3 sine of t. And dx is going to be 3 cosine t dt. So now let's rewrite the integral, just putting in those definitions. That's going to be 3 cosine t dt divided by, all we did there was put dx on the top. Now over here we have x squared, so that's 9 sine squared t. Now we have our square root, which is 9 minus 9 sine squared t. Now you see why we're going to do this technique, because when you've got the square root, 
we can use 1 minus sine squared t equals cosine squared t. Alright, so let's pull out the constant on the front. So I'm going to pull out the 3 divided by 9, which is 1 third. So we have integral cosine t dt divided by sine squared t square root 9 minus 9 sine squared t. Now let's just pull out the 9. Square root of 9 is 3, so we'll pull out this 9 that's multiplying these terms under the radical, pull it out, and put it outside the integral. Multiply by 1 third, so you have square root of 9 is 3. So we get 1 ninth integral cosine t dt divided by sine squared t square root of 1 minus sine squared t. Now we can call upon our identity. 1 minus sine squared t is just cosine squared t. And so this is 1 ninth integral cosine t dt divided by sine squared t square root of cosine squared t. Now we take the square root, you can get cosine t and those cancel. So we find that this is equal to 1 ninth times the integral of 1 over sine squared t dt. Okay, to do this integral, this is actually just an elementary integral because in first semester calculus you learn that the derivative of cotangent of t is equal to minus cosecant squared of t. That's what we have here is cosecant squared. So the integral is just minus one ninth, the minus sign comes from this, cotangent t plus your constant of integration. Now we're going to invert and we're going to use the inversion formulas we discussed earlier where we found that tangent of t was equal to x over the square root of a squared minus x squared. So in this case a is 3 and we've got cotangent over here so we just invert this and so we get our answer which is the integral of dx divided by x squared square root 9 minus x squared equals minus 1 ninth and we just invert this expression here and we get the square root of 9 minus x squared divided by x plus the constant of integration. So that's all there is to trig substitution. It's a lot of work uh, but it's really just use substitution and it inspires a lot of fear and dread in calculus students, but uh, it's really not that big of a deal when you think about it in terms of just a transformation of variable.